video is going to show you how to weave super right angle weave with beads by me, Gwen Fisher. This presentation was written using Doceri software, which is the premier software for digital handwritten presentations. You should really check it out at doceri.com. If you want to learn more about weaving beads, you can check out my website at beadinfinitum.com. Now, I want to show you a couple of things that you can make using super wide angle weave. So here's a bracelet that I made yesterday. And here's a picture of it lying flat. And the way we weave this is we're going to start in the bottom right hand corner here. And we're going to weave the four loops going up and then four loops going down and then up and down and up and down until we get to the end of the bracelet. There's lots of different kinds of things that you can weave with this weave. So here are some patches of some other examples. And the bottom here is the smallest patch. So this is a two by two patch of beads. This was made uh, with all size 11 seed beads. This larger patch on the right here that I turned into a pendant by adding a little jump ring in one of the little loops. This was made with size 15 seed beads and size 11 seed beads. The silver ones are the 11s. And this one is one, two, three, four, five loops across, and then five loops up. The ring I made here is just one loop that's repeated going around and maybe 15 loops long or so, enough to fit around my finger. And it's made with size 15 and size 11 and eight seed beads and an antique button that I wove right into the weave. But we're going to start this presentation by weaving this patch, which we can see is one, two, three loops across, and three loops up. So to start my presentation here on how to do this, I'm going to change my background so we can draw. And we're going to draw the array of dots. So these are going to be little loops of four beads, um, so maybe the size 11 seed beads. And then we're also going to have columns of larger beads and then rows of larger beads. And in this picture here, I'm showing how you can make it with three different kinds of beads, but there are other choices. Um, this demonstration is going to show you just two different types of beads. I'm going to use small green beads and larger blue beads, um, but you can use um, bicones and for the connector beads, the larger beads, you can also use sets of beads and that's what I did for some of the, the fancier details in the bracelet that I showed you. I used an 11 and then a 3 by 5 millimeter roundel and then another 11 bead. Um, instead of using a single bead, I used that for the 3. So where we're going to start here is in the bottom right corner, we're going to pick up four small beads pass through all four of them again, tie a knot with the two ends of the thread, and then pass through the first two beads that we just picked up. For the next step, we're going to pick up a connector bead and four small beads and pass through the first small bead we just picked up, which is also the second bead we just picked up. This sequence of five beads is what we're going to be repeating over and over again in this weave. So you can see it here, we pick up five beads, and then pass through the second bead we just picked up. We repeat it again, picking up five, passing through the second one, and we always end the round by picking up a connector bead or one of the larger beads. To connect the loop together, we're going to sew counterclockwise around the loop, passing through a small, a large, and two small beads. This completes the first loop of the patch. Here's the order that we're going to sew the loop. So we're going to sew up, and then we're going to sew down, um, and then back up again. So rounds four is going to be the step up to the next to the next column, and then seven will be the step up for the third column. But to get to the loop two, we're going to pick up those same five beads, passing through the second bead we just picked up, and repeat that again, picking up five beads and passing through the second bead we just picked up, and then pick up one connector bead. We're going to sew counterclockwise, as we're going to do in all of these loops, passing through a small, a large, a small, a large, and two small beads. We're always going to be alternating in this passing through, through a large, a small, a large, a small, some set of those, and then ending with two small beads. 
The third round is exactly like the second round where we pick up those same five beads, pass through, pick up the same five beads, pass through, and then by picking up one large connector bead. We sew counterclockwise through a, a small and a large, a small, a large, a small, a large, and ending with the two small beads. Round four, when we're going in this direction, is going to be identical to round three, where we pick up those same five beads and pass through, pick up the same five beads and pass through, and then pick up one large connector bead. We sew counterclockwise, as we always do, around the loop through a small, a large, a small, a large, a small, a large, and ending with two smalls. In the fifth loop, though, we're only going to pick up one set of those five beads, pass through, and then pick up the one connector bead. So once you get to the second loop in a new round, you only have to do the sequence of the five beads once to complete that round. And then we sew counterclockwise around the loop through a small, a large, a small, a large, a small, a large, and ending with two smalls. Round six is identical to round five, picking up the five beads, passing through, picking up the connector bead, and then sewing counterclockwise around the loop, small or large, a small or large, and two smalls. And then round seven is going to be similar to round four, where we pick up two sets of the five beads, end with the connector bead, and sew counterclockwise to position ourselves to begin round eight. In round eight, we pick up one set of the five beads, pass through, pick up a large connector bead, and sew counterclockwise to position ourselves to be ready to sew loop nine. And loop nine is identical to loop eight, picking up one set of the five beads, one connector bead, and sewing counterclockwise. Once you've finished your patch, you can actually make this patch going in any direction, up, left, down, right, similar to regular right angle weave. But once you've finished your patch, you sew out to the border, and then you need to sew around all of the border beads to finish the edge. So we sew all the way around, around and around and around, until we get back to where we started, and then we weave through a few more beads and tie a knot just before we're about to enter a large bead. And then you pass through a few more beads, and you can cut your thread. But if you want to do some reinforcement, you can also sew across the rows and down and up the columns to do some reinforcing. And that's basically all there is. So I hope you'll show me what you make. Thank you.